Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. We are the RC Sailors, and today we've got a pretty cool new plane on the market with a new company that we have not featured on our channel yet, Nice Sky. This is distributed by Hobbyco, so it does fall under that umbrella that we've been working a lot with uh, in our past videos. The coolest thing about this plane from the start, at least that caught my eye, is the fact that it has pontoons or floats. And you can actually change out the floats with just wheels for a regular landing gear if you don't have anywhere to fly it on water. I've never flown any planes on or off the water, so I'm very excited to see what this does, how it performs. Let's get this thing going. What I'll be doing for this build video is pretty straightforward, but a lot of people like to have a video to help build their uh, RC to help go along with the instructions. I'll be following the instructions that came with the RC and learning as I go. I'll also be installing the pontoons or the floats in this build video rather than the wheel optional landing gear because uh, that's what I'm excited to fly. We are gonna go ahead and attach the tail gear to the uh, bottom of the plane though because it's used whether you have the wheels on or not. So we want to flip this over, maybe hang the tail over the edge of the table and we've got our little landing gear here. There's a cross that matches up with the plastic that you've got there. It'll just slide right in uh, it, that would probably hold without glue, but to be safe, I'm going to go ahead and put a dab of foam glue on there so I know it'll hold well. And I'm using a Super Gold Plus 100% safe uh, for foam glue. You can buy it at just about any hobby store. A little bit goes a long way. How about you doing? We've got a couple parts here. I'm gonna, there's a couple tubes, uh, look like straws almost, but they're heavy duty. And uh, we wanna, there's two little holes inside your pontoons. You wanna place those there and tighten the screw on each one. We've got the two brackets connected now. There's a screw that holds it in. It's just a metal screw that goes into that plastic. And we'll do the same on the other side and it should hold it together pretty tight. Just kind of wiggle it around a little and it seems to be pretty sturdy. Nothing, Nothing's coming apart, so that looks good. I like it. Let's go ahead and attach the floats to the bottom of the plane. I think it's going to be easiest to attach those back to first. That's what I'm going to do anyway. As nice as that screwdriver is, it's always good to kind of hand tighten things to make sure they're snug if you want them to be or loose if you need them to be. Just snug that down a little bit more. There we go. Let's move on to the front bracket with our slightly longer screw. I 
Okay, our pontoons are on. It only took uh, four screws to attach them and then we wanted to brace them with the two uh, kind of cross brackets there that screw in as well from the outside screws. That is our plane with the pontoons. It's nice. Um, let's get the wing attached and we have a few small plastic decals uh, or just accessories that will make it look a lot nicer. We'll put those on last. For this build video, we're gonna go ahead and attach the wing before I have it bound to my transmitter, but I would recommend that while you have everything out, um, before you screw these screws in, you go ahead and uh, connect your, your main wing, your aileron control, to your receiver, and then attach the wing, but I'll show you guys how easy it is. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. And the back goes down. Very simple. We've got a long screw that will hold that in. You've got two support brackets that go to the fuselage and the wing, and they basically connect just like this. Let me make sure I get them going the right way. There's a little plastic insert that has already been uh, attached to the fuselage of your plane and the wing. And that's where the screw goes in case you're wondering. It does not just screw into the foam. Just make them snug. There's no need to overdo it here on these. Use the same glue that we used on the, the tail wheel, the tail gear uh, for your antennas on the top, the little fake decal antennas and uh, just kind of decorate your plane up nice. This is a great looking scale plane. I really like how it looks. It's a great looking plane. I'm really excited to see it fly. Really, uh, probably took me about 20 minutes or so to put this together, but that's because I ran around getting some extra parts like glue and screwdriver. It should probably only take you 10 to 15 minutes to build, especially if you uh, already have watched this video and you're waiting on it to come. It's a rainy day today for us, so it was a perfect day to build the plane. It looks really nice. It's basically ready to go. I'm just gonna charge some batteries and we sincerely hope to see you guys over on our channel. Uh, we'll have a review and flight of this video. We also do a monthly giveaway if you haven't heard about it. So stop by our channel, subscribe, watch our challenge series and enter for your chance to win some free RC products. We sincerely thank you for watching and we hope to see you in the next video. Hope this video helped.